Hello everybody, this is Bladecross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order's Fate Apocrypha event. Alright, so last episode we managed to get a couple more servants on our side, and now we're on to Section 14, Conclusive Battle. We should be able to get both sabers, and they said a rider, so it looks like a Stolfo. Uh, Jack said they thought it was a Lancer, you know, a Stolfo carries a Lance, but a Stolfo is definitely a rider class. So, let's go ahead and swap out Karna for Atalante, and swap out Jack for my Jack, because my Jack is stronger. There we go. Yep. Just as I thought. This should leave just a little bit of a mark. And just writing it out at this point. There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, I'm down here now. Alright. Ooh, it's a three-parter. Chiron the Sage's combat exercise. Alright, so Astolfo's on our team this time. Good. Dismember! Whee! Then the morning comes. We won! Uh! Hooray! The Rider of Black, Astolfo, Saber of Black, Siegfried, and Saber of Red, Mordred. I can confirm that they've all disappeared. Truth be told, I have mixed feelings about this, but at least we were able to outwit them and win. I hate to think of what might happen if Avishi Braun hadn't realized what they were up to. Huh? I'm alright. I think my control over the Greater Grail just wavered a little bit. It's odd though, considering how many servants we defeated. Does this mean my ownership of the Grail wavering has nothing to do with this war? What happens when it wavers? It means someone other than me will take possession of the Greater Grail. Hmm. If they want it that badly, why don't you just let them have it? You're not even a servant, right? Why kill yourself over this? A servant once tried to use the Greater Grail to make a wish come true. And I'm the one who stopped that from happening. So, I guess that I have a responsibility to make sure the Greater Grail is never misused. We don't really understand, but okay, it sounds like you had a hard life. I wouldn't say that. I may not have lasted long, but I enjoyed it. Anyway, the battle is over now. Gabriel, do you know the Rider of Black, uh, Astolfo? Yep! I see. Then you know how difficult he can be at times. He's a lot of fun too, though. Anyway, it's encouraging to know that both the Black and Red Sabers will soon, will soon be joining us. 
Though I have to say, our family is growing rather large. I don't know if we can keep all of them in line anymore. I've been thinking the same thing. Still, we'll just have to do our best. So who's left in that case? We got both Berserkers, both Casters, both Riders. No, no not both Riders. Uh, yeah, both Riders, both Sabres, both Archers. There could be no atonement for this sin. I may be dooming him to a life of violence. But even so, I choose to offer up my life to him. Captured. Immortal body, soul wielding fortress, dragon slayer, the hero who bears a thousand hopes upon his back. Siegfried. Don't worry about me. I don't care if I'm a mistake. I don't care if I'm deluded. I'm fine with this. So don't worry about me. Captured. Knight of the Round Table. Traitor. The one who ended the reign of King Arthur. Hero of Red Lightning. Usurper of the Throne. A curse of the King of Knights. Mordred. Yeah, good luck to you. Captured. The Legend of Charlemagne. Troublemaker. Absent of Reason. Devoted Samaritan. Knight of Miracles. Astolfo. Only three servants left. It won't be much longer now. Yeah, all we got left is Semiramis. Uh. Who's left? Oh, yeah, the Lancers. Karna and Vlad. It will be a bit of a wait, though. I believe humans will make it here eventually, so I'm willing to wait until they do, even if it takes a hundred, a thousand, or even ten thousand years. Still, if I have any regrets, well, it'd be nice to talk to somebody. Homunculus, human, servant. As long as they could just talk about anything, really, I wouldn't care who it was with. That wish already came true with astonishing ease. I know so many things. I know their memories from the Great Holy Grail War, I know all their data, and I know how much I know how each of them met their ends. Of course, there's no need to say any of that, and I don't plan on doing so. It's just, none of the servants who gathered here knew about the Great Holy Grail War. I'm guessing they don't have the data from it. They're just the same as they were on the first day of the war. Hmm. Who is talking? Is that the person who's behind all this? Hiya, people I've never met! That explains why he reacted that way. Still kind of sad, though. Nice to meet you. You must be Astolfo. And you two must be... Well, what's going on here, Custodian? Just give us the quick version, yeah? Of course. I was just about to. I see. So that's why both the black and red camps have gathered here. Very well, then. I shall lend you my aid. Thank you. So, this isn't the Great Holy Grail War? Damn. What a drag. Go ahead and set the rest out if you want. Not lo not like one more saber is going to make a difference. <laughs> you underestimate Mordred. What was that? You want to fight or something, punk? Hey, so you do get it. Things are getting worse by the day around here. All we can do is just keep our heads above water. But if you're not going to help us fight, then get lost. Now I get it. Of course. It was pretty obvious just by looking at you. Oh yeah? You're pissing me off. Come on, let's go. You and me. No weapons, just fists. Now you're talking. Hey, what was that for, Frankenstein? That really hurt. Huh? Don't fight in the courtyard. It's small, and if we fight, we'll kill the flowers? Oh. Tch, fine, whatever. You heard her. If we're gonna do this, we gotta take it outside. Eh, pass. Moment's gone. She took all the fun out of it. Oh, yeah? I'm glad to see such esteemed heroes getting along so well. The hell we are! Not to worry. You'll uh, get along fine once you start fighting side by side, whether you like it or not. And I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> it seems things worked out nicely. Give me a break. I took the words right out of my mouth. Now then. Custodian, have you started uh, losing ownership of the Grail or not? I have, yes. I'm steadily losing control. Why didn't you say so sooner? Uh, there's no point in fighting these guys off. I see. Then what do you suggest? Oh, come the hell on. You're supposed to be the great sage and you haven't figured it out? The only thing that's left is the Hanging Gardens. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'm putting it off now because of how dangerous it is. But, now that we have this many capable fighters on our side, attacking it has become a viable option. However, I believe the Hanging Gardens is the Assassin of Red, Semiramis' noble phantasm. Correct, Sir Sieg? Yes. As long as she's in that garden, Semiramis is as powerful as a ruler. Back when we were fighting her, all she did was just bombard us from her garden. 
but if we were to board the garden ourselves, it would be a different matter. All 12 of us have to focus on defending ourselves when we get there. Our chances of victory are slim at best. Why do we not simply attack now before nightfall? I actually tried sending some flying golems in there yesterday at Chiron's behest. But as soon as night fell, it was teleported back to the surface. So we believe that our enemy has already taken measures against daytime attack. Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Yes, that will make uh, things very difficult. I've only seen it from a distance at night, but his defense are so obviously quite formidable. Were you able to make it up there, Custodian? Well, during the Great Holy Grail War, the Black Team's master used stolen airplanes. And Ryder, Astolfo, that is, well, he rode up on his hippogriff, uh, dodging his defenses all, all the way. On top of that, our ruler used a defense skill that protected us from more than half of the bombardments Semiramis unleashed from her garden. Right now, we have Achilles' chariot and Astolfo's hippogriff, but I'm afraid that will be difficult to attack the garden with these alone. Convenient as it would be were she to simply open up the garden's gates to us, I rather doubt that she would do so. That she would be so accommodating. More likely, she would defend her, her garden quite fiercely. Hey, Chiron, got any brilliant ideas how to get us in there? Such things are always useful when there are weaknesses to exploit, but I'm afraid that no amount of planning or brilliance can break those defenses. I'm afraid we may have no choice but to charge through the front door. Sir Sieg, is your true body recover enough to be able to move? I've had a resting the last few days to focus on healing. If nothing else, it should be able to fly now. But even so, breaking in will be difficult. If I take another noble phantasm, I'll fall right out of the sky. Especially if it happens to be Siegfried's. His noble phantasm is especially dangerous to me, given that it slew a dragon. Even the slightest scratch from it could send me crashing down. I'm sorry I caused such trouble for you while I was on the opposing side. Eh. Uh. Huh? She says, don't worry about it. Unfortunately, we have no choice but for you to fly if we were to assault the garden's front gate. And it's not that I'm scared. Well, no, I guess I am scared. I'm scared we won't actually be able to do this. That I won't be able to get you in there safely. No, oh, apologies. It seems we're not clear. We will, of course, all be contributing to the frontal assault. You may be the Grave Girl's custodian, but I would never put this entirely on your shoulders alone. In that case, Asolfo and I can back you up, since we can both fly, too. Damn Skippy, we will! Don't worry, I promise we'll keep you and Gabriel safe up there. Then I'll stay here and watch the... On second thought, I better come along too. I'll be no match for those Dragon Tooth Warriors on my own. Well, I better prepare a sonnet to sing the praises of you, you great heroes. Uh, that will surely make fortune smile upon you. Now then, I'm off to write. Only a few hours left until the deadline. Time to get that ink flowing, William. Hmm. In my case, I suppose I'll have some golems fly in front of the dragon to act as shields. If I make full use of the Millennium Fortress's walls and material, then they should be able to last for at least a little while. I suppose I could pick off any attackers with my bow. Do you know something, Custodian? Atalante, you, uh... You have another noble phantasm. I heard you used it to fly during the Great Holy Grail War. The Caledonian Boar's Pelt! I remember now. You're right. There is more than one way to use the Boar's Pelt. It's surprising that I would use it to try to win the war, though I, mu I must have been quite desperate. Can you still use it? I will try to figure something out. I do not know that I'll be able to stay in the air for overly long, but I should be able to defy gravity for a short while at least. Mommy, mommy, can we use our mist? You mean your second noble phantasm? Uh huh. It can, uh, what's the word again? You know, I can choose uh, who it goes around. You know what I mean, Mr. Horse Servant? You can freely select who your mist envelops. That sounds like it could be directed, then. Yep, that's it. Aha, now I see. So back then, that's how she... We're gonna ride on Mr. Custodian's back along with Mommy. Yes, good point. Avisha Braun, Shakespeare. I'd like you to ride on Faulkner's back as well. Ugh. Hey, Frankenstein. Uh, I mean, Berserker? Huh? You and I are gonna team up, so I want you to. I want you staying put on the ground. Huh? Uh. Ah, don't worry so much. I got a brilliant plan. Trust me. There is such a legend about. Is there a legend about you flying that I was unaware of? Nah, nothing like that. Don't worry though. I'll figure something out. As long as we get up there, it doesn't matter how, right? I'll get us in there. Just you watch. We'll go shooting up there like a rocket. Uh, you're going to explode? 
Uh, does that mean you're gonna use your ma? Shh. That's a damn secret, okay? Huh? What about you, Siegfried, Chiron, and Spartacus? What will you guys do? Good question. I'll accompany Achilles in his chariot, assuming that's alright with you. Fine by me. Chariots aren't made for just one rider anyway. Wanna ride on the hippie curve with me, Siegfried? I'm sure we can find room for one more. It would seem that that's my only option. I'll make sure to defend against the, uh, the other me's noble phantasm. Guess that just leaves this guy. Hey, Spartacus! I refuse. Why? You bear the stink of oppressors. Now that I know our destination, I will find my own way. Nothing is impossible for me. The sky is but one more obstacle for me to overcome. Please calm down. Spartacus, you may be a servant, but I don't believe you have any skills or noble phantasms that will let you fly. Nothing is impossible in this world. If birds are capable of flight, then humans must be as well. If I must become a bird to reach the garden, then that's what I shall do. Yes, I shall be small, elegant bird, soaring gracefully across the sky. A bird, you say? cock a doodle doo Ah, well, you won't be soaring. Well, you cannot expect to become a bird overnight, Spartacus. If I were a bird, I would be insulted to hear you think such is such a trivial thing to do. Perhaps we should send a rope down for you. With muscles like that, you should have no trouble climbing up to the garden. You are no oppressor. What the hell is that lunkhead used to figure out what's an oppressor anyway? Good. <laughs> now we have we all have a plan to reach the garden. Indeed. Probably. Yeah, we're we're fine. Totally fine. I'll prove to you that my muscles are truly worthy of your absolute trust. All right then, you three new servants uh, will officially join our battle lineup. Our next step is getting you acclimated to working with Sir Gabriel as a team. Sounds good to me. Understood. Oh come on, really? Do I gotta? I already know how to fight just fine. Indeed, I'm certain a warrior of your skill can manage quite capably. But working with the team requires more than mere combat skill alone. Besides, there's nothing better than the feeling one gets after landing a beautiful team combo. All the more happy when it happens in live combat, uh, rather than in practice. Alright, I guess I can give it a shot. She's like putty in his hands. Okay then, I'll go first. Looking forward to flying with you, Custodian. Thank you. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. Avisha uh, Braun, would you mind uh, creating some training golems? Very well. Hmm. Alright, Astolfo, focus on teamwork. Uh, do not run off on your own. Aye, aye, sir. I will offer advice, but nothing more. Good luck, you two. These don't look too tough. So I wonder why Astolfo hasn't questioned why Siegfried or why Sieg is carrying his sword. Because you know, in Apocrypha, Astolfo gave his sword to Sieg, and that's uh, that's what that's where he got it from. So, like, why hasn't this Astolfo been like, "Hey, you have my sword. What's up?" Alright. 
This is just a padding mission right here. Don't really need this, it just kind of pads out the story. Gotta admit, the enemy design is cool, though. So, I think no Phantasm from Shiro ought to be enough. There we go. 